Fairy Tale Friday, Vegan Heaven. Welcome to Fairy Tale Friday number 50. To celebrate this landmark occasion, I do believe I'll offend several of my good friends. Leslie Hamburger awoke one morning to find Lean Vegan Jesus sitting cross legged at the foot of her bed, with his spinach beard and radish rose eyes. Beating in his chest was the bleeding heart of Palm, and his two fingers were raised heavenward like a pair of erect baby corns. Congratulations, Leslie, he said. You are one dad vegan. How can this be? asked Leslie. I did everything right. I like to work and ate chickpeas every day. Yeah, yeah. Actually the chickpea is the fruit of the tree of W. Hitch my father said thou must not eat, said Vegesus sadly. I'm sorry for this tragic mistranslation, but take heart. You're about to ascend to a cruelty-free paradise, where all people are transcendently humane. So Leslie climbed onto Vegesus' lap, and from his lordly buttocks issued a cloud of gas which propelled them into space, high above the suffering of the people on earth below. She looked down on everyone, and found the view familiar. Vegan heaven was beautiful. There were artichokes as high as a redwood tree, mashed potato mountains dotted with melting pats of soy paste spread far across the landscape, and everyone was very pleased with themselves. A dead vegan lady said to no one in particular, Today I had a vegan burrito and a soy latte made with fair trade coffee beans. Leslie could hear the capital letters as she spoke them. A carnivorous ghost drifted by, looking woefully out of place, but he was soon chased down by a horde of angry dead vegans, who whipped him mercilessly with asparagus spears. A phantom hot dog cart drove by through the clouds, but a pack of dead vegans pulled the driver from behind the wheel, and injected him with hormones, and kicked him bloody. Leslie cheered. I never knew meat eaters could cry real tears, she said. Be out upon a closer look, things look dark in vegan heaven. Near a field of howling wheat, a sinewy man with dreadlocks was hacked and stabbed by a rabbit beat. Thin, healthy, dead vegan activists were swarmed by a pack of mushrooms and sodded. A man with a silver mullet was viciously kicked by a solitary nut amid howls of agony. The atrocities committed by a potato against a man in hemp pants are best not spoken of here. Vegesus, said Leslie Hamburger, how can such cruel behavior be permitted in vegan heaven? Look at the suffering of those honorable vegan souls. This is a genocide perpetrated by soybeans. It is as I promised you, he said. All of the people here are humane. But the vegetables are metherficers. Watch out here come some green beans, and over a horizon of fluffy clouds, she saw them, their pointed tips marching in time with an ominous drumbeat, and their charges wavering under a blood-red sky. It's the food chain, said Vegesus, sadly. If you're not at the top of it, you're on the bottom. And H.E. was dragged off into the darkness amid a clingy cloy of beans and rice. Leslie Hamburger shuddered in terror as night fell. The end. Happy Friday.